So what do you need to do this with? You need copper wire or any kind of wire. This is welding wire. A buddy of mine's a welder. He always saves these ends because they have them when they're wire welding they feed through their cable and they go through so far and they can't push the wire through anymore, feed it through. So they always have this scrap and he's got, I don't know, a six, eight foot piece. He's great about saving these and he always gives me one uh, when I need them. But uh, they're handy for a lot of things, but they're perfect for this. Now you can use something else, but this is what I happen to have on stock. You need about a foot and a half, depending on where you put your whole wire. And I use, um, what is this? This is the sewing thread that I use, and I use that. And that's all you need to pull that painter through. So let's go through and move to the bucket. Okay, I've got my piece of rope here. And I have put a little bit of a taper on it with a hot knife. Just enough to help it feed through there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take this string, wrap it around here, and just tie a knot. Just a little simple overhand granny knot. Nothing fancy. Then starts the trick. Down through here and loop and put feed it through itself. I have no idea if this has a name. And you, you can see how I'm pulling that. Let's do this. I think I get a better camera. But it, it just loops and pulls forward and catches on itself. So loop it, wrap it around, pull it through. We're going to do that several times. Make it like a little chain through here. And all I'm doing says just looping it through itself. And I just want it so when I pull it tight that it's just got a good grip on that rope. So I'm not tying a knot. I'm actually just slipping it through there. Just kind of a constrictor, I guess you'd call it. Oops, messed up. Actually, you can do it like that right there if you loop it around right. See if I can do that again. Of course not. Uh, you get on camera and you can't do them. Be glad to sit here and listen to you chatter. Last one. Right down close to the end as you can get it. Now see if I can show you this. Just got to pull it tight. You can see what what it's doing. It's just a little constrictor, and it's pulling it's pulling that tight. So when I pull it through, I got a lot of grip on there, and I don't lose it. I got to leave it right there. I'll wrap that around so it doesn't come loose. Feed my copper wire through since I had to take it. Through. There. I'll pull this through. Alright, that wasn't a smart move. If I can keep this from coming loose. Alright, I've got it. Now, get the camera where you can see this. Yes. Alright, now we're going to feed that in through. I'm going to see if I can slide that down a little further. I don't think I can. And this is the tricky part, is getting it started. Well, that went easy, but you see? And then just... Pull it through. That's as easy as I've done one. Sometimes they're a little harder. Then just flip those off, and you're done. I have struggled with these and struggled with these till I came up with this idea. Because it's just you can't poke it through if you've got a good tight fit hole. So this is genius. But of course, it took me three years to figure it out, so I guess I'm not a genius. Then, you can finish this off however you want. You can braid or whatever. I typically just do a trucker's hitch. If you're not familiar, you make the loop through the hole, back around, and then under that piece. Look it up. I know it's, it's all over the internet. 
it's an amazing knot to know and there you go you got a painter and that's all there is to it now i will go back and apply a small bead of lexel around that to seal that hole i'm not going to bore you with that and that's all there is to painters